Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We are at the Shambler's Altar, and we are getting ready to go on to the next region. And there's a Bounty Hunter I could hire. I feel like we don't play enough with the Bounty Hunter. He costs some candles, but I consider that like a trivial cost. Like, it's four candles. We're making like, what was that, like 90 candles last run? So the four candles is like irrelevant. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? You have two choices, the Tango with uh, safe roads or the Shroud with basically a lot more candles of hope. And if we visit Oasis, we get more candles. The Tango is objectively the better choice, plus two mastery points for a, for a trivial goal. Avoid the Watchtower. Yeah, we want to avoid the Watchtower because Each I have this. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Unabridged edition, giving me 100% scouting. So this isn't even like a goal. This is just like a natural thing. And we get two free mastery points. Objectively, this has to be better. Like this is just the superior choice. But I haven't fought the Shroud boss. And I really want to fight the Shroud boss. So you guys know what the deal is with the Shroud boss. So I'm going to make the objectively worst choice. The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt and I'm secrets. Gonna bring a bounty hunter. I, I was thinking about who to replace. I actually think I'm gonna replace Zook. I'm not super sure we need a tank. And the bounty hunter can actually kind of tank as well. So uh, yeah, bounty hunter. Uh, mostly I just wanna play with him. I think if we get our relationship up, the bounty hunter might not actually be the best choice, but uh, it's fine. Repair the stagecoach a little bit. For a time at least. All right, what else we got? Good. Now the griddle. This thing uh, betrayed us once. And it didn't generate any flapjacks, but it's early-ish in the run. The hoarder decoder signal. Your academic instincts serve you well. I wouldn't say it's useless, but it's not as useful as some of the other items. Um, concoction and powder. I don't think I'm ever going to use this food barrel. Seems very questionable. I'm going to toss that. Hoarder uh, signal decoder. This will be one of the first items to go, but it does double the trinket selection at the hoarder, which, I mean, if you fight the general right and you get that trophy that reduces trinket cost by minus 75 percent you have this go to hoarder you stock up on the best trinkets seems like a pretty good combo but again we're, we're that's like later on in darkest dungeon 2 for consideration right when you're just trying to win for now i'm trying to do the stories and unlock things and i don't really care if i kill the final boss here but um but like, look at the strategic considerations, right? It's, uh, there's lots of cool combos you can do. So even though we can scout everything, this hoarder decoder, uh, signal decoder is still valuable. Uh, the question is, do I want to invest our resources in Gambo on getting the flapjacks? Or do I just want to produce some powders and concoct uh, concoctions? Gambling to get flapjacks is tempting. We could get better trinkets at a hoarder definitely could use some really good trinkets so you know what let's uh any advantage is a good thing let's not gamble on the flapjacks even though i do love flapjacks okay then i'm going to purchase some provisions you can or wealth no longer has meaning the buff if our relationships ever did i like at least two songbooks okay oh that went very well this went pretty well too now zook i know uh, i don't want to focus on your relationship because i think i'm gonna replace you i could buy another songbook and just keep like keep going Is there anything else i would rather have i don't have enough food let's buy two food i'll use a slime mode Make sure we don't spend everything. I want to save at least $16 to get rid of this yips. 
if we come across a hospital. Lazy eye is not great, but I'm not doing a whole lot of attacks. So that means we buy one more songbook. It's just a, such a great way to buff the relationships. Oh, Zook has a perfect relationship with Sagato. Hmm, how unfortunate. But I still want to bring the bounty hunter. Okay, let's check Tim. Their relationship is only friendly with mystery. Oh, let's do a pig? No, let's use up the wine. Let's do like this. Then mystery and Sagato. This is not the time for the pig yet. I lie, this is the time for the pig. I'll save the wine. Okay. So I just want to buff. I mean, I don't even, th I think these relationships are good enough for now. Yeah, they're good enough. And let's hire the bounty hunter. I just want to play with him. His cowl. Um, he does have a taunt. Look at that. Stare down. I'm gonna keep him at position one. He's got a pretty terrible trinket to start with. That's okay. That's a eat some food. Bounty hunter can eat the slime mode. I don't care if you get diseased. And I think Sagato can eat the slime mode. Sagato has a shocking amount of hit points for a backliner. Okay, eat the food. Blasphemous Ido. Can... I think enemies here do do stun. Um, some resist on Stagato, because if Stagato gets... As long as Stagato is not stunned, I can use Ministrations to clear the stun. That's the theory, at least. I don't know if that's actually right. Blasphemous Ido. Pretty good. Do I need it for this region? I'm not convinced of that. We'll save it. Okay, trinkets to equip. So, Sagato should use his smoldering firewood. This I have the incendiary cocktail. That would be perfect. And then, is there a better item? Not sure. Uh, clenching claws on our bounty hunter who is calm with plus 20% resolute chance. That is sick. You might actually do a little bit of taunting. So the clenching claws would be very good. Um, burn resist, negative tokens. I don't know that I'm going to do that. I don't ever see me using this clandestine cape. I'm just going to get rid of that. Buttressing ban could be decent. Or maybe just the clotting thing. Oh, maybe something like this. Okay, we'll keep the trinkets. We'll, we can ditch them anytime. Combat items here have, have a mineral rich spring water. To save our resources. Mastery. Okay. Bounty hunter mastered all skills, of course. This is pretty tough. I, I was thinking about this a little bit offline. I like the Razor's Wit, Inspiring Tunes upgrade. I think we have to upgrade Divine Grace, uh, that heal is like pretty much our only source of heal. Like the dodge from Razor's Wit. I actually think Inspiring Tunes is a maybe. I like the point blank shot. That seems like a lot of damage and we need damage for this upcoming region. Uh, and then the highway robbery is real tempting because I would steal two positive tokens. So not only do I debuff the enemy, I buff myself. That makes it a basically a replacement for take aim. Uh, like in the final fight, I wouldn't take take aim. I would take highway robbery. So that's always like good. But I am slightly worried about our stress situation. Inspiring tunes will certainly help. Um, but it won't necessarily help with the boss fight. I think I'm gonna take highway robbery. The tokens are very strong. Let's play with that a bit. And I know stress might be a problem. We do have the mineral spring water. I think we'll be all right. And I feel like I should rename the bounty hunter. 
Um, maybe I should just name it after previous viewers, right? You are a massless man. This is... This bounty hunter is basically Boba Fett. The real Boba Fett. Not that fake Boba Fett from that Disney show. That was terrible. But no, the Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back. Where he said like five words. And he had the best line in the entire movie. Where he said nothing. And Darth Vader walked up to Do Boba Fett. He was, uh, Vader was talking to all of the mercenaries. Uh, the bounty hunters. He was like, I want them alive. And then Vader looked at Boba Fett. That means no disintegrations. Isn't that just the most incredible line? At some point, Boba Fett disintegrated a guy and turned him in for a bounty. For alive, apparently. Incredible work, buddy. Incredible work. All right, let's see. Uh, Frontline bounty hunter? Collect bounty seems good. Mark for death, yeah. Solid skill. Come hither, always good. Finish him. Yeah, that seems pretty strong. Although, it does kind of, um, I don't know that I need collect bounty if I have finish him. But finish him's damage is a little worse. I don't actually know if I need finish him. Can't use no escape, can't use hurl back. No escape, look at this skill. It is like unbelievable. This is a stun, like a stun. No combo, nothing. Ignores dodge, it's just a stun. Wow. Too bad um, you can't use it from the front. I think it would be like overpowered. Uh, flashbang, I mean, sometimes I'm in position two, right? Robat, eh, that's definitely not usable. I guess it has to be finish him. He has two more skills I can unlock. I vaguely, I think one's like a guard and uh, there's something else. I can't, oh, uppercut. I think uppercut does stuns? I don't know, I can't remember. Don't remember how all this nonsense works. Anyway, uh, I think this will be fine. It's very flexible. Uh, and we have the ability to apply a lot of combos. Land a killing blow on swine, that is not going to happen. Oh, we actually have a uh, visit the watchtower. <laughs> I mean, if we literally have nothing better to do, this could be worth it. All right, I feel like I am talking too much. Interesting band. Ooh, gnarly knuckles on the bounty hunter, right? I uh, seems a little too good. Plus 20% melee damage and pretty much all your damage up front is melee. I get the trinkets back. Um, you have to have a serrated item equipped. Yep. Right, I have to do that, right? Flinching Claws here. Flinching Claws, not the most reliable. Sure. And then... Maybe more like... Eh. Sure. I, I don't have any good trinkets in the back there. Okay. I think we've done as well as we can. Let's go to the shroud for the content. Uh, oh, right. I was going to rename the bounty hunter. Maybe in honor of Boba Fett, right? Instead of one of my viewers. No, how can I do that? No, no, no. I think we should name you after a viewer who's already appeared. So let's do uh, Ivan. Welcome back, Ivan. You are our bounty hunter for this region. All right, let's do it. Relationships? Operation unites the hopeful. Razor's wit will decrease stress on Tim, and Duelist Advance will decrease stress on Mystery. That's really good. Might re-equip Duelist Advance because of that. Judgment will decrease stress on Mystery. That's incredible. And Battle Ballad will decrease stress on Sagato. Also very good. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Mace Bash will um, increase dodge. I'm not going to use that. And Wicked Slice will add a dodge plus. That is very unfortunate. I might re-equip the Wicked Slice just because of that. Dodge plus tokens. Pretty solid. Pro 
propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in okay, hero shrine. Degradation. Hero shrine. Oh, I can't hit both hero shrines and still do the boss. I, I just... I'll skip this hero shrine here and then do the boss just so I show the boss. But I am not happy about skipping that hero shrine. Um, mm, hospital. Lair. Problem with the hospital is... All I can do is cure... Well, I can cure the yips. This is one of the worst diseases. And I specifically save 16 relics for that. Voices creature dead. I feel like we're going to have plenty of mastery points from all these fights. Doing the lair and stuff. So I'm going to go to the hospital, get rid of this yips. It is really bad. And then we just have some fights and a hero shrine. Okay, do it. I mean, I specifically planned for this exact scenario. So saved enough relics for this exact thing. It'd be silly to not do it. Nobody wants to go to the hospital for some reason. Oh, I should uh, look into re-equipping my skills. Okay, ambush. That is quite unfortunate, actually. But we'll open with a absurd point blank shot. Alright, a little a little bite. A little disease. Wearing to fade to black. To set up another point blank shot. Saradon's not going to do anything. Let's get this Widow up front. Bounty Hunter is so good. He can do stuff from every rank. Ooh, let's do a Consecration of Light here. Get rid of that weekend, So we can properly... Huh. I resisted. Oh, first in turn order. Right. Oh, bye-bye. Point blank shot. OP. Um, let's hit the... What can Bounty Hunter do? Stare down. That's probably just going to move. But also mark. Mark this one as vulnerable. You know what? Do a judgment there. Get some of that stress down. Stare down's not actually going to do anything. Mark for death. Oh, that bled. That's for grab. I think that's a stun. Made a black for a kill. Another impediment. Yes. Cleared with impunity. All right, all right. Some crits and some damage. Not great. But we're going to 26 to 34 point blank shot. Wow. Frontline Jester Highwayman can be insane. All right, let's look, re-equip some skills here. I think I'll take that Wicked Slice. For, the Dodge Plus is so good. And... Duelist Advance, uh, no Dodge, though. I don't think we need a Stress Reduction, to be honest. I'm never going to use Mace Bash. So I'm going to stick with my current kit there. Wicked Slice does less damage on Tim, though. Hmm. Alright, Field Hospital. We know what we're doing here. Um. Yips. Bye-bye. Have four relics. Ah, now Greater Protectorate. That is interesting. I think it's worth, worth buying. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. And then this buttressing band is probably better uh, better than the staggering striker. If flame is low, this becomes good again. But flame is not low. 
Uh, yeah, this was worth it. Lawnum, I don't think we need that. Ivan thinks the uh, healer is a tough one, and I would agree. Bandages. Be met with unwavering I might actually save them for the final fight because they seem really good in the final fight. Ooh, an ordained ghoul already? I don't like that. Let's uh, let's try to kill that widow. I can do a weaker attack to finish. Stare down. No. Mark for death, 30% debuff resist. But if I applied a vulnerable, I would just do a slice off. Hmm. Which would apply another vulnerable, which is still pretty good, but I can uh, I can do stuff next turn. Let's do the mark for death. I do think it's better. Him. We could Razor's Wit or Slice Off for the eight. Razor's Wit seems a little better. Get that dodge going. Okay. Consecration of Light would allow Tim to go with the pistol shot, which would stun. But Tim is very likely to go first anyway. I'm thinking we consecrate Ivan. I can also consecrate Mystery because Mystery is probably going to fade to black, but consecrating Ivan just seems good. Ooh, Skull Toss, but that's a stun, right? I can resist that. That was it. That was so puny. All right. A pistol shot for the... It's 50% chance to stun, but I'll take it. 21 damage crit. Stun. Incredible. And a crit token from the buttressing man. Let's slice off. Stupendous, Stupendous is right. And we get a strength token now. For a crit. 20 to 31 damage. What is this team? Uh, okay. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. That is right, Wayne. Unrelenting application of violence, indeed. Wow. What is this team? Two arms. So it brings no satisfaction. I have to disagree about that. I think this brings incredible amount of satisfaction. Uh, okay. We're definitely gonna fight. No, no, no. Why would you run, Ivan? Why would you run, Sagato? Nonsense. We're fighting this for sure. For the rewards, for the mastery points, for everything. Okay, there is a cabin boy. I'm gonna try to kill that because it will turn into a much nastier thing. All right, just get a strengthen token. That's pretty relevant. Rhiny spray. That's a as stress. I don't like that. Um, what else did it do? Barnacles inflicts one bleed when moving. Oh, I don't like that. Let's just make sure the cabin boy dies. Freezer's wit though would get a. Uh... I'm okay with inflicting that bleed. Measure out your violence. I want the dodge. One bleed is really not a th problem. Okay, I got illumination, but I don't really see what that does here. Let's consecrate. Set up that strength token. Sucker punch. A little bleed, not a problem. Uh, then rigging. I think that's... Ah, oh, that's a stun. Hmm. I feel like we need a Vesto to move quick because of this sort of situation. All right. Wharf Rat moves next. What do these things do? Let's take a closer look at the thing. As repulsive as it is. It's really bad for it to be in the back. Let's see. Bozen. Observe the subject carefully. And you Knock will back. discover its weaknesses. Eh. None of those really bother me that much. 
Warfrat, Bosun. I might be able to kill the Bosun. So we'll try for it. Oof. Okay. Nasty sucker punch. 14 to 20 damage. I'll take that. Yes. Kill the ordained Bosun. Easily resolved. Gonna fall back. Uh, fade to blacks so, because we might. Um. Click blind on the ordained enemy. Um. Anyway, I was just saying I might do be able to do a stress heal. Okay, we have a judgment ministrations. Let's do administrations. Get rid of some of that bleed damage. This wound at least has been tended to. Ah, this fog. Yep, this is the thing I was kind of afraid of. They missed. Wicked slice. Wow, it's really bad on this man at arm. Uh, on the uh, highwayman. I'm not sure the dodge plus is even worth it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the um, shoot the thing in the back because of that. Yeah, the sucker punch not great. Firing tunes, get that stress down. Twenty three damage. They falter. That so is unbelievable. All right, took a little hit point damage, but it's really not much of a problem. In this weighty gloom. A spark. Mastery points. Slice. The loathing abates. No, I actually want this minor bouncer's belt over what I have right now. All right, got a hero shrine. Excellent. Look ahead. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. Gonna continue the highwayman story as soon as we get there. I was desperate. I had to. Chapter four. Highway robbery. The stagecoach arrived, and he set himself to the business of bloodshed and robbery. Rob the coach, okay. Well, we only have one choice, duelist advance, to kill one of the guards. Move us to the front. Into the bushes would call me back. How much? I have a lot of uh, health, so I'm guessing you have to hit the stagecoach, right? You have to kill this thing. Oh, reinforcements. I see. Oh, aim shot is on cooldown. Okay, this guard in the front moves next. Oh, I can even crit? Wow, how strong am I? That's... Hit that coach again. A sprint slash. That's only three damage. Why don't I just stay up here? I don't really see the need to fall back ever. I know what the guards do. Okay. Yeah, the five damage ain't cutting it, guards. All right, two more shots and the coach is dead. There's a chance I might just win next uh, round. This is a very easy one of these uh, mini games. Rob the coach. I kind of wish this was a little more complex. Uh... Oh, stagecoach is going to go before the other guard. That hasn't happened before. All right, so the this is over next round, unless it does something weird. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, I actually failed to kill the guard. I wonder what they do. Is it just a desperate slash? Yeah. With so much, uh, so many hit points, there's nothing for me to worry about. All right, very easy robbing the coach, but. He fulfilled his obligations with exceptional lethality. That's what highwaymen are all about. Satisfaction would prove short lived. Yes, I would say that was exceptional lethality. The loathing whispers. Now, the sharp, sh uh, sh sharp shot class means if you use grape shot blast, you get a strengthened token. Huh. If you upgrade it, this is a pretty solid AoE. You can't use it from the very front rank. You can use it decent amount. That's like, what, 5 to 12 damage AoE? Actually pretty good. I might equip it. I know it says 4 to 6, right? But you got to factor in the 25% from the sharp shot. But the main thing is the Grape Shot Blast gives you a strengthen. The thing is, I have this Smoldering Hymno. So I'm not really taking advantage of the second part of Sharp Shot. Sharp Shot. Unless I did that in Duelist Advance and just get like lots of tokens or something. I haven't figured that out. At least it should be. Okay. Let oh, no, no, no. I did not. I did not necessarily pick that. Uh, I do not need two assistance encounters, but the flame will get awfully low. However, I also want to fight the creature then. We can get our flame up here. But that will cause loathing to go to an absurd degree. I mean, I can... The oasis, I think, is just better. And maybe I don't do the creature then. Did I buy some glimmers? I usually like to have some. No. We might just be doing a low flame run. This party is strong, man. Let's go to the Oasis. See what we get. You never know. We could get some glimmers uh, as a drop from one of these fights. Okay. Oasis. I mean, I'm definitely mystery. Uh, definitely doing it mystery. Why would Tim want to run? Because he thinks it's a distraction. Mystery. Oh, look, my flask has run dry. And we get some supplies. Yeah. Definitely worth it. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. This uh, minerals-rich spring water could be really, really valuable on the final fight. All right, let's go do the creature then. I'm feeling strong. Brace up. And when you beat the layer, you do get some flame, so it's fine. It's all fine. This is a very weak group. Horror. It's not great. Pistol shot. The urchin. The urchin is probably going to fall back. Look at the thing. But I could just crit it and kill it. Yep. Seems pretty good. Oh, resisted the disease. All right. Good, good, good. I mean, consecration, right, on the bounty hunter is just so good. Look at that disease. Oh, my God. 31 damage crit. What is this? All right. Inspiring tunes, even when not upgraded, is pretty good. Uh, all right, it's gonna do another one of those gruesome reflections. Annoying. And it would increase stress like that. Sagato. I could battle ballad to reduce stress slightly, but. Wow, this is so strong. In this weighty gloom, a spark. If only I could bring this to the final boss, right? I wouldn't I think would be incredible. 
Ooh, okay, got some items. Items that we might actually use. Okay, creature dens are pretty tough. I don't think the death spore cap will be good, but the pouch of lie is potentially good. I wanna save the bandages for the final boss. Maybe two mineral spring waters. These these are good, but I don't think you like need need them for final boss. Stare down seems good. Um, this is a fight with a lot of dodge potentially. I'm not liking that. Um, does add a dodge plus though. Highway Robbery is also very good here. Uh, Illumination, make sure that's equipped. Consecration of Fortitude. I actually don't know that's, that's better. Like, the Consecration of Light is better than the Consecration of Fortitude here, but probably is? Just thinking, like, do I need to re-equip some other skills? I think Reap Drop Blast is a little too weak if it's not upgraded. There's just not enough damage. Take aim. There are uh, the spiders. Do blind. And the spiders hit the back rank. I think this will be okay. No repost, but I think I'll be all right. Highway robbery should be solid. Let's do it. Okay, we are fighting this. That's not even a question. Uh, let's just check the relationships. Tim. Um, wait. If Sagato or Vesto do that, what's, what's Sagato your relationship with um, Mystery? It's perfect. Hmm. Mystery, your relationship is also perfect. What about having... Oh, Ivan doesn't want to decide. Okay. What about Mystery? What's your deal? Uh, either way, I would take a hit with Tim. So, I'm going to go with Mystery here. Let's see what fiends await. Not worried about relationships this run. Oh, four of these carrion eaters. That's problematic. Do a slice off. All right, the two ordained one are gonna go first. Uh, let's do the consecration nonsense. Might be a lot of bleeds, but we have ministration. Ooh, and diseases, right? Yeah, don't like the disease. Okay, that one's gonna go, and then that one's gonna die. So, try to kill. Nope. Resist. It's a wicked slice here to get a token. They're gonna eat, but we can like do the highway robbery thing. Could also consider clearing this corpse. Actually, not crazy. But I might as well use the pouch of lie for that, right? Um, slice off, uh, but the vulnerable won't be the best. Razor's wit would give me a dodge. Nah, let's do the slice off. The damage is so much higher. Administrations. We could illuminate to get rid of these block pluses instead of stealing them. I do kind of like stealing two block pluses, right? That's pretty strong. Administrations is too early to use. Five to nine. I want a big... Um, 
I want a big strength and vulnerable hit. So I guess I am actually going to do ministrations. I mean, 20 to 31 damage. This is a guaranteed kill, even without the DOD. That is like just unreal, th these combos. Munch? Okay, that's not great. Should have saved the ministrations for that, huh? Highway robbery time, though. Two block pluses for me. Thank you, buddy. That was so kind. Get some uh, dodge going. Oh my god. This combo. And it gets another. Okay. These things do go on death store. So let's put it on death store. I did not see that respectful coming. I did not want to spawn all these enemies. Whoops. All right. Well. Uh, okay. Let's pray for luck. Yeah, that was that was that worked. All right, that was not lucky. But deadly all the same. Okay, we can clear that. Oh, why did Ivan have to get stunned ahead of uh, Nevin uh, Sagato going rather? So unfortunate. Let's fade up black. Nice hitting through the uh, dodge. Easily resolved. Ooh, all sorts of nasty uh, effects. The Gato with the dodge plus, good. Okay, what can we do? Can't do a consecration. We can do a judgment or a illumination. I'm thinking illumination on this uh, Weber because these things stun, which is very annoying. Weber is gonna go. But let's go for some damage. All right. It should be dead next turn. It should be. Ooh. Gonna need administrations there. Yep. Uh, let's do. I was gonna recommend doing the pouch of lie, but. I want the dodge token. But I actually. Uh, this. This enemy would be able to eat a corpse anyway. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Divine Grace, I'm thinking that's good. Do administrations next turn. Get the big heal first. We could do a stare down to get the taunt up. That seems very good. As I know you're gonna eat. Do a fade of black. Try to add a blind token. Try to highway robbery away. Ah, oh, I didn't get the crit. Ah, oh, but it missed. Okay, it all works. And do. What do these spiders do from. Up close bite, but it doesn't blind. Seems better to get that spider up close. Okay, a consecration of light. I'm thinking we know our combos, we know what we have to do. Nah, but administration to get rid of this. We're gonna have enough damage to finish things. From caustic agony. There we go. Okay. We get slice 5 to 10. I did not think about that, but the uh, the bounty hunter should be able to kill it. Pistol shot here. Nah, let's still do a wicked slice for the uh, extra effects. Although, mystery can just kill it. So, maybe... Well, mystery could kill the corpse, but I don't, I don't know that I actually care. I mean, this is obviously, like, insane. You know, let's, let's kill the spider and debuff the, uh, 
is the a thing. lesson learned. And now we will do a consecration of light. Should eat the corpse, right? No? Okay. Munch me, sure. Fine with me. Begins. Yes. 30 do damage crit death store. It's just so good. Uh Battle Ballad will heal a little stress, but I think I'd rather keep the hit points. Stress situation is very manageable. Scavenge what you can. Discounted trinkets at the end. Fantastic. Assuming we survive to the end, of course. All right, this this company, this party is lit. That's for sure. Okay, neutralizing powders. Um, that might actually do something here. Might as well equip it. Pouch of lie. I'm not gonna use it in the boss fight, so. It is low indeed to profit in destruction. Oh, that's it. These may be infectious enemies, but there's only two of them. And <laughs> just open with a execution. Uh, yeah, I think I know what we're gonna do. Razor's wit set up the combo. Oh, that was not a kill. Wow. I don't even know. I didn't even know that's possible to not just like immediately execute these things out right. A righteous action. Okay, layer time. Light's not great, but I think we'll still be okay. Get some of it back. All right, this is a tough fight. I gotta be a little careful. Motoring him, no clenching claws. Um, the gimmick, don't forget the gimmick of the boss. Uh, it's gonna pull us under, but I think we'll be all right. Consecration, yep. Administrations, yep. Consecration. Divine, um, I don't think illumination does anything. I don't think the boss has tokens. Mind Comfort might actually do something. Neutralizing Powder is not going to do anything. Uh, let's... I'm going to equip the bandages. There are bleeds and that could save a life. And maybe... Okay, I know what to do. Let's equip the Mineral Spring Water on Tim since he can get relationships. Ivan's going to equip Death Cap Spores. Mine's 33% Death Blow Resist. That, um... Good coming to play against the boss. Minor bouncer's bell plus 15% healing receiving skills. But you, so you might resist if you have good move resist. You might resist the boss's effect. So I don't want to lose the move resist. Okay. I think we are as prepared as we're going to be. First fight are the church of the change. An inglorious heap of rotting timbers. A whole bunch of bosons. Hmm. This is the stun. Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. The two in the middle are the most dangerous because they can stun and stress. So let's get. Let's get this one. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Pretty solid. Bounty Hunter. I'm really thinking about doing this and then the... But the Bounty Hunter might get stunned, right? So I will be boring with the Fade of the Razor's Wit. 
Okay, spear fishing, that's a pull. That's fine. Oh, this is a little less fine. I don't want to be pulled all the way up front. Okay, this bow's in. Uh, from up front, take a closer look at the thing. it can do a knockback, and that's it. As it is. Which is pretty harmless. So let's do a finish him on this bow's in the third position. Try to finish him. Find comfort. Let's get some healing. Ooh, I do not want to be knocked back like oh, this is this is less than ideal. Alright, that bozen gets to go. But spear fishing, which is okay with me. Huh. Bounty hunter, I still have to finish him. And um Mark for death, stare down, that sort of maneuver. Just kind of want all the dodge tokens, you know. A simple variable, easily resolved. All right, this is real good. Get pulled into position. Just getting moved all over the place. Oh, I can still collect bounty. Sure. Get this way in the front. Consecration a light. Alright. Alright, hit the bows in the back. Literally can't do anything with Sagato, so I have to move back. Ooh, fade of black. I thought that would kill. Alright. Come hither, three to six. That's a kill on the. A lesson taught. That one. A lesson learned. Miss. Okay. This just means an extra round of heals. I'll take that. Sure. That's a stress reduction from the crit on the corpse. Pretty silly in a way. Okay, that was easy. First wave, second wave. Let's see what we got. Oh, Captain, all full ordained. Okay, this is a much, much serious group. Problem with hitting the Captain is I can't hit it with the bounty on her. Let's kill the bosons in the middle again. This time's only a seven damage min hit. That's Less than ideal. Eve Ho. Lots of knockbacks. Also less than ideal. Okay, sound and rigging. This is the stun, but I resist. Yes. The captain. Oh, yeah. It has a massive buff. Yep. Crits all around the board. I don't like that. So we're going to have to try to kill one of these. Perhaps a slice off for the guaranteed kill. Razor's wit would also do it. But I can't highway robbery from the first position. So I'm going to Razor's wit to kill so I can highway robbery this turn. Uh, Divine Comfort's not going to do anything. Consecration of Light. On the Bounty Hunter, I think, is the way to go. I don't have Illumination, unfortunately. Judgment. We can also hit this thing with a judgment to uh, get rid of that block plus. But no, nah, I think the consecration is a light. It's the way to go. We're gonna take some big hits this turn, but okay. All right, we're gonna definitely need to get rid of this strengthen plus crit. That's too much. All right, respectful. Good. Ooh, getting knocked back is actually real annoying. Please pull me. Ah, why? Why game? Made of black. Good. What can the captain do from up front? What can we learn upon closer inspection? Kill hall. Eh, kill hall is fine. Not so worried about that. I want to wait to apply the uh, or actually, you know what? This might get rid of your strengthen token. Worth it. Okay. 
probably gonna need a heal here. This one's blind, so we're gonna go for... A brilliant conclusion. Yes, brilliant conclusion is right. The Leviathan's breath. Thickens the Leviathan's air. breath. 21 damage. Crit. Bows in again. Still the most dangerous enemy. We're gonna focus it down. And effective. All right, that's actually good because this will let me heal. And let's get the captain up here. Although the bosun, the bosun's got all these tokens. Not as worried. Of course, it hits through all that. Fantastic. Why wouldn't it? But we did get the consecration from that. So was it really that bad? Okay, uh, Divine Grace. Nice heal. Pistol shot will 30% stun, or I can just kill it. That works for me. A Razor's Wit. No, Fade of Black, in case it doesn't, this Bozen doesn't die. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna die. Wow. Okay, that was a little harder, but still not a problem. Let's see, what do we got in the final boss? Fisherman's Net. Hey! Don't we have an item that combos with that? Tango Almanac? Maybe we go there next. Carved Bodkin. Whoa! This seems like a very strong item for the final boss. If bleed, extra action, 20%. Minus two bleed received. Back in call, I can tell you we are not equipping this for the final boss. Because the final boss is all about the bleeds. Pristine lure, that could that could be very valuable in the final battle. Okay. Or against the exemplar, I'm thinking. No matter what, we're fighting this thing. It didn't come here to run. Alright, look at this. It's a fish. Really, really big fish. Okay, what do you got for me, fishy? That was a little blind. So I kind of want to add the dodge token here for dodge plus for Sagato. Um, let's start our consecration nonsense. Okay, Call of the Deep. Leviathan's Baleful Gaze rests upon you. Um, I could try to weaken the thing. But... I would much rather hit it for a gazillion points of damage. And let's move forward, apply a combo, and get a dodge. That, that I think will be very useful. Alright, this is the gimmick. Undertow. He's gonna pull someone down. Oh, I resisted. Excellent. 200% chance to stun. Did not know it would be that high. Uh, you still have to kill this hand, even if it doesn't pull anyone down. Because it does too much damage for you to just ignore. 4 to 8 versus a get another dodge token. And I would lose the Consecration effect. I don't like that. 40% dodge. I could fade a black, but no. I'd rather apply the vulnerable. Batter? Yeah, I know. This is why you kind of have to. Uh, yeah. Very nasty hits. 5 to 9. You know... I'd rather gamble. Nope, didn't work. Incremental. Yeah, I don't. Ugh. This is why you have to kill that thing. Now I should be able to kill it with um the bit overkill. Uh, Isham, nah.
I don't want the hand to die this turn. I want to kill it with, um, because I think that delays the boss from summoning the hand. We're pretty quick. Not Mark for Death, Stare Down. Call of the Deep still. Might need some heals soon. Do a finish him. Yep, that's fine. This is all prepared for. Wicked Slice. Because of exactly this reason. Okay. Why do I get to go again? Oh, smoldering him no. Wow, I didn't even think about that that setup. That was skill right there. Uh pistol shot unfortunately won't stun. I would much rather have the combo. Um don't want a razor's wit. Might fade to black. Or I might just slice off. Either way, we're not getting the combo applied so I'm actually gonna slice off again add that dodge plus could do something not gonna bandage let's do a slice off please apply the vulnerable yes okay oh the bounty hunter doesn't get to go clinching claws another vulnerable fantastic all right I might want to firebomb this thing. The uh, smoldering him though, gaining. Hmm. Wanna save. The smoldering him though gains a flammable item is equipped plus twenty five percent damage. It's not. I I'm sure we can get more flammable items. I want this boss dead. We'll do a Divine Grace to counteract some of those bleeds. Ooh, blind, annoying. Okay. Wicked Slice for the... Huh. Boss is gonna hit here. But I should be able to counteract the problems. This is actually a really interesting turn. I want that combo, like, the insane hit. Let's just do a Wicked Slice to get that dodge up again. I have a Storm, yep. That's fine. Battle Ballad, uh... Oh, the combo's gone. Barnacles, inflict one bleed when moving. Bah. Too bad the combo's gone. Is this the time to death cap spores it? I don't think so. This is still a lot of damage if it miss, uh, if it hits, what am I saying? Ugh. Okay. Do a big heal here. Bounty Hunter. Alright. Undertow. Definitely problematic. Gotta just try to kill. Oh, I don't think Mystery is surviving this. Ugh. Maybe I should have, I'm not even using my combat items. Do I use the... No, I don't think I used the mineral spring waters yet. I could crit. That would be pretty huge. Nope. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Hmm. Batter. Okay, that's fine. I haven't figured out a good way to beat this boss yet. Gotta use the bandage. No choice. 
Now climb. Okay, blind, that's good. Respectful, okay, that's also good. I'm gonna point blank shot next turn. Um the bounty hunter should come. Or Wicked Slice. No, this is not reliable enough. Gotta make sure it dies. Okay. Mm, don't think it's time for a bandage. Razor's Wit for the... It's gonna. Let us take a closer look at. What's it gonna do? As repulsive as it is. Tidal surge. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. The sixty-four damage. I have a mineral spring water that I can use to get me out of that store. This would combo. The combo definitely changes things. Because the combo will allow me to do extra damage. Ugh. Sagato. I should have thought about the fact that you could have come up here. May Smash would be incredible. You have no choice but to move back, I think. Yeah, you gotta set up a Divine Grace for next turn. Yep. Oh, the dodge. Of course, it didn't actually work. This is a. Stress and a debuff. Thinking we might need some resolute checks here. Again, my um, my setup for the boss is not great. The combos keep like not working out. I think the damage is a little too good to not do it right. Boss is going to summon the uh, eye again next turn. Collect bounty is plus 50% damage. If I take aim though, I could crit and kill the boss. I think I got to use the mineral spring water. What are my other options? I, th I think I have my Divine Grace back, so a heal here. Mineral Spring Water mostly to prevent the meltdowns. A small reprieve from uh, this carousel. I don't know if that was right. Okay, I'm gonna take aim. I'm gonna gamble a little bit. Not that much of a gamble. Okay, now we're gonna def get rid of the death door resist. 18 to 26 damage. And I might recycle a tombo. Nope. Need that heal. But a welcome one nonetheless. Can I not dodge that? Okay, let's slice off. Yes. A brilliant conclusion. Okay. Boss is almost dead. And it's gonna summon the hand, but now we just go for the kill. That's fine. Can fade to black at the third rank? Yes. Well done. Should have zero death door resist, so any hit should kill it. All right, this is a lot rougher than uh, than I thought it would be. I know this is a hard boss, but I feel like it should not have given us that much trouble. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what to do differently exactly. Like highway robbery wasn't doing anything. 
maybe needed more duelist advance to counter or more taunts uh oh no i need to fight that boss more to really understand it but we'll be fine if ivan has a meltdown it's actually not a problem uh yes yeah, so let's equip the fisherman's net and i know we had to use a bandage but we may have to use some of the mineral spring waters as well okay items if bleed extra actions minus two bleed received seems pretty good Turn greater hail draw plus 20% max hit points. That is pretty important. I'm gonna temporarily put it on um, Tim here over the clinching claws, so you heal up a little more, you know. Smoldering uh, firewood starting to fall off. Pristine Lord, I might need that. I might need a lot of this stuff, is the problem. Coder, coder signal. I mean, okay, I'm never gonna use this beck and call. So just throw that out. I don't really see me using this staggering striker. Very situational. Probably not gonna use the dark impulse. Minor bouncer's belt. Actually, uh, quite. Quite solid for... For Tim. Fisherman's line, I didn't realize this is actually not that amazing. Lar Gnarly Knuckles is, but this, this is not like OP. Carved Bodkin. Definitely want this for this region. Maybe over to bleed resist. I don't need that. Okay. Do it like this. Consider all variables. All right. All right. Quickly. Rough. Rough choices. I have a lot of money. Not a terrible idea to go to the hoarder. Try to pick up some really good trinkets. What are our hero goals? Swine, watchtower, academic studies. We're not making any progress there. Sisling's encounter give me flame. But that would increase the loathing by three. Not liking that plan. The fight. is not the worst we have four mastery points i'm gonna get more i actually think we're okay on the mastery i could go left visit the hoarder you never know you could have like good trinkets right uh and if we deliver the bulbous venom we get discounted trinkets so we'll save a little money Still be able to get a uh, like, yeah. Good trinkets are super valuable. I don't know that I'm super psyched about all my trinkets. Especially like a trinket that resists bleed. Seemed like it would be OP on the final boss. And the hoarder is the most reliable way to get that right. And we can hit the assistance encounter, up our flame to make sure the final battle isn't too crazy. I like that. Let's go to the hoarder. Despair and disorientation. Steal your mind as we pass through the void. Skip some battles here and there, but mastery points are looking fine. The loathing whispers. Not pleased with how that uh, Leviathan fight went. 
Okay, the hoarder. Let's see. Greater sharpness charm. Profane scroll. Huh. That is real interesting. But this is bad for uh, this particular Vesto, because we want to be in the back and get rid of all the tokens. Okay. What else we got? Iron Brazier. Grito again. Wind Chimes. Decent minor clotting trinket. No, we need a better trinket than that. Icon of Delight. It's interesting. It's a lot of heals. Fates for Teller. This could be the trick to win the final battle. But I think we just take the known thing in the Greater Sharpness Charm. That is like a known quantity that is good. Yeah. Of oh, thunderclap grenades and noisemakers. Thunderclap grenades, very good. Okay, I'm going to ditch the. Um, might actually use the noisemaker. I'm going to ditch this pout of lie. I mean, and I'll be honest, this uh, fisherman's net, it's good when you don't have anything better, right? And I'll admit, the uh, 15% chance to stun on hit is pretty good, but you have to have the net equipped. It's a pretty good item, but it's very situational. I don't think I'm going to use this hoarder decrypt, uh, decoder signal, though. Okay. So, playing cards. Goodbye. Clotting Paltus, specifically to save it for the final fight, yes. Something to ease the I like that, I like road. that. Body Tails, I might actually need that. Like Shaken Concoction, again, pretty good for the final battle. Let's get rid of this heat shield. And I'm gonna, I don't see me using any sort of dark impulse thing or selfish motivation, okay. Ah, greater sharpness charm for the known thing, right? Yeah. Just take the known thing. And baubles, paid for in blood. Uh, how are our relationships? Absurdly good. Not sure I even want the playing cards. We need to pay for a bunch of food. I'm gonna save the rest of my relics for more stuff like the clotting poultices, bandages, you know, stuff that will help me win the run. But the Greater Sharpness Charm, the excellent pickup. Besters. Let's, um, might re equip some of these trinkets once we get into a fight here. Okay, let's do the Assassin's Encounter, get the flame up, make sure the Fino battle on this. Route isn't too bad. This is no place for decent folk. Whoa, how did we get so many items? Potting powders. Gonna be useful more of these noisemakers. Okay, I, I I don't see that I can actually use all these. Um, Spirit few in items or plus all that flame. I don't actually even know that I need it in items. I just want the flame to make sure the final battle isn't too tough here. Like, there's no reason to risk anything. Okay. Probably gonna use some of the mineral spring water. 
So make sure we have some of that equipped. Yep. Noise maker. Yeah, I mean. Pillaging brigands. Enriching themselves as the world collapses. They sent enemy. That's not great. That's a stun. Definitely not great, but it opens me up for a point blank shot, which is great. Alright, respectful counterattack, but a lot, of, a lot of stress problems. Let's uh, use kindness. some of the mineral spring water. And kill that pretty easily. Get the dodge, set things up. Thunderclap grenade is also real good here. Yes, just shuffle this nonsense around. And then a heal. I don't even care about getting rid of stun now. Now that I know how good this shuffle was. Cute. I'll take those tokens. Thank you. All right. Early One kill. Encouraging. Judgment. Uh, I'm liking the consecration here. Slice off, apply a vulnerable. It is watchdog. Steady. It's very quick. Of course, it does 13. Why wouldn't it? A simple variable. Easily resolved. Right, frantic retreat. That's fine. Going to fade a black. I just want to prevent that. Uh. Oh, I got to go again because of my bleed. You know what? Let's prevent the meltdown with the mineral spring water. I know it doesn't matter as much on the bounty hunter, but uh, let's have a little buffer before the final battle, huh? Oh, I should have gone for the other thing. This, uh, the crack shots are way more dangerous because of, yeah, that. Tough cultist battle coming up ahead. I'll be honest, these clotting powders might legitimately be like insanely good on the final battle. Like insanely, insanely good. I kind of want to save them. Uh, smoke bomb will be very useful here. Definitely going to bring some more of this mineral spring water. Uh, this is one of the few fights where we can use the Shred of Decency. So that seems like something we ought to use. And Thunderclap Grenade is just good. I am going to save the Clotting Powders. I feel like those would be pretty OP on the final fight. Greater sharpness charm. Dang. I'm not sure I need more heals right now. We just need more damage. Something like that. Okay. Let's 
skills are good, right? I think so. No, illumination, very good for this fight. Take it over to Divine Comfort. Ah, no ordain, but there is a cardinal, which are exceptionally dangerous enemies. Let's blind it. Not gonna use a highway robbery here. Let's set up a wicked slice for the dodge plus. Yeah, I know about that altar of ambition. This is going to be a problem. Razor's wit to apply the combo. Liking that. Okay, we're probably gonna steal the tokens here. Arno goes next. It might shuffle us. Hmm. But that is what it is. Stealing these tokens would be pretty sick, right? But... Destroying them is also pretty good. Okay, this is a massive DOT and stress, but that's okay. I can I can afford to be stressed out here. That's Shred of Decency. Get rid of this worship and get that altar. Early results are encouraging. Okay. Same deal. Get rid of some of these tokens and get more dodges. Razor's Wit would set up the combo. And then the Evangelist gets to move. I like setting up the combo and getting another dodge. Hmm, of course I get blinded. Well, got a gamble. Nope. Alright, stress. That's okay. If I melt down, I can get a heal. Ah, Unfortunate. Find grace heal. Another hollow vessel. It's fine. We get ministrations this away. Okay, I'm gonna smoke bomb the car note again. Don't like that thing. Hmm, these wicked slices are adding all these dodges, but it's not enough damage. Good. That was much better. Okay, fade of black. Should be able to apply a big hit here. To collect bounty. And it misses. Excellent. We will administrations to get rid of. DOTs. Okay, someone else can deal with the evangelist, so now we're just gonna pistol shot Cardinal. Another hollow vessel. Miss. Smoke bomb's doing work. Let's um let's collect bounty here. We can set up. Actually, do, gonna do Razor's Wit. That way, we might be able to get a stun. Um, judgment, Consecration of Light. Like that Consecration. Actually, should have Consecrated here because I could have fallen back and gotten the uh, gotten the Strength buff on two characters. This is um gonna be a little careful with how to use the. Uh, Character skills. Didn't matter in this battle, but in future battles, that stuff matters. Ooh, we can. Uh, Bounty Hunter is going away. No reason to heal. Just finish it. Meltdown, but it was irrelevant on the Bounty Hunter. The past is gone. Let oh, we got die. the Icon of Light after all. Eh, might use it. The loathing whispers. Don't need this silent treatment. I don't see us using this uh, bouncer's belt thing. 
But then again, you never know. I only use one of these uh, Shred of Decencies. Slightly dicey region, but made it through okay. Need to find a better way to fight that Leviathan boss. The Roaring Heart does much for the weary body. Got a sluice launcher. For the restless soul. Mystery Fanatic Slayer. Tim gains the Jinx. This might be the single best positive quirk in the game, or at least among the best. Because look at that, apply to attacker, 25% chance of something really bad to the attacker. Any of those would be an amazingly bad thing. Duke is uh, light sensitive. I don't like that, but you are our tank, so less concerning. You can carry Six mastery no points, I like that. No sluice this run, huh? Alright, fetter or naked and afraid. Well, we're not like... Um, we're not able to, like, I'm definitely ha gonna have my stagecoach equipped, so, duh. Also throw away the Tango Almanac. Thick mud. Academics caches. I mean, our odds of getting more Academics caches, let's be real, probably not gonna happen too much. We're not doing our hero goals. Like, it's just... We might be able to get one. I highly doubt we're somehow going to get three. Station house. Discounted repairs. Huh. Alright. Spend what you can. For wealth no longer has meaning. Pig. That's good. If indeed it ever did. His food choices are pretty terrible, to be honest. Rat maker's gear. Eh. The sprawl, I know it's boring, but everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. I don't actually have I drew away my fire resistance trinket. But learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. And buy this and you can buy it back. Uh, it's very cheap. I'm not opposed to that. I'm just thinking... I might have to figure all this stuff out in the next episode. Plotting powders. That could be the way, again, to beat the final boss. This item does seem pretty OP. Do I have a... There is a certain... Uh, coach item that lets you... Increase attacking for poultices by six per stack. These are poultices. No, those are powders. Really? What's a poultice then? What's the difference? The poultice. I mean, that's gotta be a poultice, right? What else could possibly be a poultice? Only 13, like, uh, trinkets to find out. I would gamble on that because this item, the clotting powders, seem like it would win me the final battle basically single-handedly. All that bleed resist seems strong, but I will have to figure all that out in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.